800 CHAB Radio is proud to present Ask the Expert with Greg Marsnick and Rob Carney. Fall has arrived and that means Halloween will soon be upon us and that means it's time for some friendly reminders. Halloween safety tips from our friend at Heritage Insurance, Greg Marsnick on 800 CHAB's Ask the Expert. Greg, uh, we can never be too safe at Halloween. We can never protect our children enough. That's right. Uh, being a father of an eight-year-old boy myself, uh, I'm always very conscientious of this time of year. And uh, we've put together a little acronym, uh, Safe Halloween, so uh, it'll be easy to remember for the young kids and, of course, the parents out there. So, Safe Halloween. So, we start off with the S. Swords, knives, and similar costumes, accessories should be short, soft, and flexible. A. Avoid trick-or-treating alone, uh, walk in groups or with a trusted adult. They normally recommend if you're nine or younger to be with an adult, nine and over be with some younger teens. I know it's not cool for kids of that age to hang out with their adults, but try and have them with some uh, younger adults. Uh, at fasten uh, reflective tape, costumes and bags so uh, people can see them in the evening, very important. E is examine all treats for choking hazards and tampering before eating them. And as you and I know, we've got to limit those treats as well. Uh, and throw, H, out, throw out the heart Tootsie Rolls too <laughs> while you're at it. That's right. <laughs> uh, H, hold the flashlight uh, while trick-or-treating to help you be seen and also for others to see you. And A, always uh, test the makeup first before you put it on. And when you come back, make sure you take off that makeup just so that you don't have any skin or eye irritation. Uh, L, look both ways before you cross the street. And when possible, make sure that you go to a crosswalk, uh, very important. Uh, L, lower the risk of eye injuries. Uh, you should not be wearing those decorative contact lenses. Uh, o, only walk on sidewalks or uh, walking facing the traffic uh, to stay safe. And W is wear well-fitted masks and costumes. So first of all, you don't have uh, anyone avoiding or so it doesn't avoid your vision as well as uh, avoid trips and falls and eat, eat only factory wrapped treats uh, and avoid eating homemade unless you're very aware of the people that you are receiving those homemade treats like grandma grandpa or your aunts uncles or your very next door neighbors mm -hmm. uh, and of course e enter homes uh, only that that you know or if you're with a trusted adult otherwise stay outside and and never walk near any candles and also be sure to wear a flame retardant uh, costume if at all possible so again Halloween is a great time of year I know uh, I enjoy it when Matthew brings home the treats because yeah. I kind of help him sort them out a bit so uh, go out there be very safe be very conscious and again for the drivers out there Make sure that you keep your eye out and slow down just a little bit in Halloween and enjoy it. Why not? What's your favorite Halloween treats, by the way? Oh, my favorite one are those uh, rockets. Okay. I like the Kit Kats. And you can't go wrong with potato chips, can you? Well, potato chips are good, too. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween safety tips from Greg Marcinek on 800 CHAB's Ask the Expert. You can find Greg at Heritage Insurance in downtown Moose Jaw, and we can find you online, too. That's right, at nohassleinsurance.ca, or come on down, visit any of our fine staff here at the corner of Fairford Street and First Avenue Northwest. Thank you, Rob. <laughs>